In this video, we would see how to deploy a Maven built artifact to a remote repository in Nexus. Let us start. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about the type of repositories in Nexus. So Nexus has three types of repositories, proxy repository, hosted repository and group repository. We use hosted repositories for uploading artifacts from Maven clients. So this hosted repository can contain snapshots or releases. So in this video, we will see how to upload artifacts to a Nexus hosted repository. If you want to know more about the Nexus repositories, please follow the link in the below description. To deploy into Nexus hosted repository, we need to have the Nexus hosted repository URL and the credentials to upload into that repository. So let us collect the URL and the credentials from Nexus. So we have already seen how to create a credentials and how to provide the permissions to credentials for a particular repository in the previous video. If you want to know more about that video, please follow the link in the description section of this video. Now let us log into the Nexus and collect the URL and the credentials. So once we sign in, go to admin section and click on repositories. In the repository section, we can see that there are two hosted repositories here, releases and snapshots. So in this video, I will take snapshots repository. So double click on this. So this is the URL for the hosted repository of snapshots. So let me copy this URL. So let us also collect the credentials. So for that, we have to go to security section and click on users. In the users we have already created maven deploy user so this is the user we have to use so this maven deploy user will be used to deploy an artifact to the hosted repository my or maven snapshots in nexus now we have to perform the required configurations in the maven form.xml and the user settings.xml so we have to write a separate section in the form.xml to upload artifacts in the remote repository so for that we have to use distribution management. I have already written a skeleton. Let me paste it here. So this is the distribution management section. Here we have repository where we need to mention the details of the repository where we upload the artifact. So this repository can be used for releases and this is for snapshots. So let us provide an ID here. I will mention the ID as Nexus. And the name is for releases. And the URL we should provide the religious URL here. So instead of snapshots, I am giving religious. So let me copy this religious URL and paste in the URL section of the repository. Similarly, for snapshot repository also, we need to mention the ID. I am mentioning the same ID, Nexus, and the name is snapshots. And for the URL, we need to mention the URL of snapshots. So these are the details of the distribution management we have to specify in the form.xml of the project. So when we build the artifact, if the artifact is of release type, then it will be uploaded to Maven releases repository. If it is a snapshot, then it will be uploaded to Maven snapshot URL. So in addition to the URL, we also need to mention the credentials. The credentials needs to be mentioned in the user settings.xml. So for that, there is a separate section called servers. We need to mention a server section. So in the server, the ID should match the repository ID here. So here since we have mentioned Nexus, I will mention Nexus ID. So then we have to mention the username and password. So let me use Maven deploy user for the username. For the password, I have created like deploy123. So this server section we should copy in the user settings.xml. So let me open the form.xml first. So this is the example application. Let me open the form.xml. So in this form.xml, we have to mention the distribution section. So let me copy and paste the distribution section whatever we have prepared. So let us save this file. So now we have to open the settings.xml and we have to mention the server section. So this is the server section in the settings.xml. So we have to copy and paste our server section whatever we have prepared. So since this server section contains the credentials like username and password, so we have to allow the permissions for only certain people while accessing this file. And also there are some other mechanisms how we can store these credentials securely. I will explain those details in the future videos when we discuss about security. So let us save this file as of now. So now we have done the required configurations in the form.xml and the settings.xml. So let us deploy the artifact now. For that we have to use deploy command. So maven clean deploy. 
So when we execute deploy, it not only installs the artifact in the local repository and it will deploy the artifact in the remote repository as well. So now we can see that it is executing the deploy plugin here and it has successfully uploaded to Nexus. So we can see that the artifact is successfully uploaded. In addition to the artifact, it also uploaded the form.xml. So we can verify the same in the Nexus URL as well. So we can browse to the repository content. Here we can see that our artifact is successfully uploaded to my or Maven snapshots repository in Nexus. So this way we can build an artifact and upload it to Nexus from Maven clients. I hope this content is useful to you. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.